name is Chandan Khanna. I'm from the creative photography batch from the 2011 to 12. Uh, my name is Shipra Simon and uh, I was from the batch of 2009 to 2010. Hi, I'm Aditya Mandirata. I've studied creative photography from 2011 to 12 in SACAC. Uh, my name is Dheeraj Man and my batch is 2009-2010 and I'm from creative photography. Hi, my name is Dipakshi. I joined SACAC uh, a year ago and I had no clue about photography. Before I joined this college, I was a complete novice. I had uh, absolutely no clue as to you know, how to how should I use my cameras. I did experiment for about a year or so, but I realized that I needed a course in it desperately. Well, see, initially photography started to me as something that will help me travel and meet a lot of new people because I was, I am an engineer and I come from a background like that. And so that job did not do well justice to me. When I came here, I, I really learned about the technical aspects of the camera. And now I know that, that, that camera, now for, nowadays a camera is not, not a tool for me. It's like my hand. Photography was always a hobby, but one fine day, uh, I dropped out from college. I was doing my MBA, so I dropped out and I chose photography. So I converted my hobby into my passion and from passion it got converted into my profession. Apart from uh, the knowledge of photography, the basics and technicalities, I have learned never to give up. Beyond that, it was just the attitude of accepting everything. Uh, that you know, that SAC actually showed in that one year for me, and also the opportunity to really explore my own thoughts, thanks to this one year. From here, from all these people, I learned that you can do whatever you like in your way because the ways are unlimited. There's no specific way to do your thing. This this simply amazing for me. In last one year of the creative photography course, I've learned that people are a really important part of the creative process. You have to be together and if there's a team and if you have, if you know how to work together, then the outputs are much better. The whole single concept of me, me, me doesn't work always. Yeah, there was a theoretical part like history of photography and the basics uh, of photography, the, the elements and uh, the composition, the framing, the lighting, the, everything was in uh, theoretical part. As well, when we finished that part, we came to the practical part. Now we had a camera and we had this canvas where we have to just paint, you know. Uh, we know that, that photography is painting with light. We start with uh, life in documentary. It, uh, then we have travel, a landscape uh, tour as well for about 10 to 15 days and we have fashion, we have product, so we have also marketing, then we have photoshop classes so we can brush up our skills. In terms of uh, confidence, I already actually always had it but in terms of my projects, yes, it's become a little more definite from before. Uh, I know what exactly should I step into from now on? Uh, photography for me means to capture movements and more than that, I want to be in every, in every person's life where they're happy, they're sad. I'm a very expressive person so, and I have a lot of emotions so it's actually one outlet for me to kind of express myself. The interaction was amazing with everybody. I've never had any problems in trying to express myself. You know, people express themselves in words, through dancing, through other art forms. I think photography is another art form through which you express your self, your emotions, your personality through your images. When I joined the college, we were taken to Pondicherry for an insight workshop. Because of that, I think we were more free. We were more free. We were not hesitated by everything. Nothing was bothering us after that, after that workshop. It was designed in such a way where where we have to trust our colleagues, where, where we have to just close our eyes and, and we have to just fall, they'll catch us. So I really learned how to trust someone.